first defender, which is Levi, is going to take the ball out, okay? He's going to take a touch of his feet and he's going to pop it in, okay? As an attacker, you're looking to score past the keeper, okay? But you've got to obviously beat the defender. If the defending team win it, you've got two corner goals here just to pop it in and you get a point, okay? So once you've been a defender, you come back into our base and we wait for the next go, okay? So touch at your feet, okay? And then we're playing. Good, can we be bright? We talked about kick that ball forward. Good, that would have been a free kick. Play on though, play on. Can you score? When you're ready, let's play. Good, you great save, Jamie. Well done. Good, Ollie. Well done. Once you're ready, once you're at the area, you can set up and play. Good. Touch. Good. Nice and bright attackers. Get that ball moving forward if we can. Good, good hands. Roll it into it then, Jack. Good boy. Keep it moving. Good defending. Well done. When we start, guys, when we start to go wide of the goal, what happens to the size of it? It gets smaller. Okay, so is that more difficult for you to get a goal? Okay, so it may be then again that if you become so wide, you may not have a shot, you may do what instead? You may cross it, okay, for another striker to come in. So in these 1v1s, you've got to be brighter, quicker than that defender, okay? Take your first touch forward and out your feet. Okay, off we go. Can we go forward? You've gone wide. Good, can you score, Ollie? Come on, keep going, you've got to recover. Good, well done. Maybe occasions where you've beaten that defender, Okay, and I'm on my right foot here, but I'm not right-footed. Can I have a shot with my right? Yeah, because what's the worst that could happen? He could, he could save it, he may parry it, and it may be a rebound. Good. Move your feet, move your feet, good. Take your touches forward. Good strike, good block. You know, getting the session plan and structured, you know, letting it flow, and let them making their own decisions, but only stepping in when obviously, a, say, a player makes a mistake or maybe when, you know, you can test them and test their knowledge of whether they're understanding the session. Right, this time, oranges, OK, it's going to be slightly different. OK, you stay in your sections, OK, in the grids that you've been working. It's going to be two attackers that go out, OK? So you must decide, OK, the, the two that go out, all right? Well, but two, obviously, right? You, you take it in turns, OK? Yeah. So now you need to, listen, you need to be able to identify, can I dribble or can I pass, OK? It's important that you're supporting one another. When you're ready, play. Next two. Good, well done. Jake, what could you have done? Oh, you could have had a shot. You've got to pass it. Good, we're playing. Good, Jake. Ah! Leave your stuff, grab yourself a drink. Obviously, the focus tonight was on dribbling in 1v1 and 2v2, or sorry, 2v1 situations, okay? What did you have to use then if I wanted skill. to be good at skill? What else? Speed, good. So maybe that opportunity to knock the ball past the defender, so obviously you get success as well.